Right around the world, people have been sharing their love and showing their support for Manchester. Australia's heartfelt sympathy and resolute solidarity is with the people of the United Kingdom. We stand with them today as we always have and always will. We stand in absolute solidarity with the people of the United Kingdom. Last week, at around 10.30 on Monday night, just as people were leaving an Ariana Grande concert at Manchester Arena, an explosion was set off that killed 22 people and injured around 120 more. Ariana Grande had finished performing and wasn't hurt, but many of her fans were. Broken. From the bottom of my heart, I am so, so sorry. I don't have words. Emergency services rushed to the scene to help people and start investigating. A help centre was also set up for anyone lost or injured. We helped a few people up. Um, and emergency emergency services. Emergency services were so efficient, like they just came straight away. They gave the best possible immediate response to those who seek to divide us. And it will be that spirit of Manchester that will prevail and hold us together. Regular people immediately came together to help. Nearby hotels opened their doors to those left stranded. Taxi drivers worked for free to give people a lift home. Some opened up their homes to anyone in need. And thousands rolled up their sleeves to donate blood to help treat the injured. Islamic State, which is often called IS or ISIS, has claimed responsibility for this attack. It's an Islamist extremist group that have committed other terror attacks around the world. So now, UK police are working hard to track down anyone who might have been involved or even know what was going to happen and bring them to justice. That's what these raids were for. And police expect to do many more of them too. Meanwhile, authorities are also taking extra precautions to make sure people are safe in the UK and even at big events here in Australia. We have the best intelligence, security and police agencies in the world and they are constantly keeping, working to keep us safe. This event is a horrible thing to hear about no matter where you live. But kids in the UK say the most important thing is to stay strong and help each other through this difficult time. I think like, the best way to cope with this is to like talk to your parents or an adult or a teacher because they can like get you through it and like like calm you down and explain it. I just think if they're trying to scare us, then we should show them that we're not scared and we shouldn't we shouldn't let them. I don't want anything like this to happen again. There's there's no point. It's pointless. For the people of Manchester and many around the world, it's been incredibly tough, but they're determined to stand together.